Hey, it's November, and so we return to our regular ass Let's Tries of regular ass games of the not horror variety. It's been a little while. Today we're playing Air Memories of Old, as requested by Patreon subscriber Knox. And it's pretty already. Also, I just realized I did that whole intro, even though I didn't know what that was. It just, it just is all in the right settings. It's 1080, it looks good. Yeah. I realized I was doing that intro before the thing comes up. I normally wait for it to load because I don't know if it's going to load in like 360p at 4x3 with like graphics turned off or something. <laughs> Video games are weird. We immediately have a nice color balance. Kind of aesthetic that's been kind of globally determined ever since Journey came out. Where it's like a nice, simple polygons, but nice, bright colors and everything. Hmm. Auk. Listen, I know you are eager to explore, but the pilgrimage is important to the people of the sky. Can I highlight? Nope, my mouse is gone. I was wondering if I could highlight the word to get context. It's probably just my name. As you know, in the early days before the Great Divide, lands were very different from now. Instead of islands in the sky, the lands were one, and the ancients inhabited the world. They built great structures, among them three temples, here in the land of gods. Your journey will lead you to all three of them. But something changed. The ancients somehow caused the great divide, shattered the lands, and left us with eight islands in the sky. The priestess, Kara, prayed by the lighthouse, and found answers that helped our people survive the Great Cataclysm. The first stop for every pilgrim is to visit Kara's shrine. So go on in, Auk. I will wait for you outside. For a brief second there, I thought the opening shot was going to be of columnar jointing, because I saw what looked like hexagonal columns, but no. Oh, it's so agonizingly close. Look at it. They're like, if they were on their own, they probably would be hexagonal columns, but they're all- they're in the walls, so it's not quite that kind of look. Let's see. This is a nice looking setting. Who set these candles up? Oh, no, this is just like a place that somebody inhabits. There's all sorts of stuff around here. Jumping tutorial. As per usual, if you like what you see, you can find a link to this game on Steam in the description. The tablet is really worn. A part of the text is unreadable. In the land of gods, there were three. In three houses. Slumbering in eternal skies. We can go up or down, it looks like. There's some options. The memory of light in our heart, shining with the name of Kara. Her lantern guided and protected us when the world shattered and we became the people of the sky. Let's turn you up a little bit. Gameplay. Oh, I was like, is that maximum already? There we go. Lower sensitivity while flying might work, but right now I'm just trying to turn around and stuff, and it was pretty low. Did that actually go any higher? Can't feel it. Now they gave me decimals, of course I'm trying to snap it to really specific spots. Not really rotating very fast with the mouse. There we go. Oh, it's real easy to get good screenshots of this game. But, uh, oh, a squirrel statue with two tails? 
or a fox, a wolf. I don't know. It actually does look more... Maybe more wolf-like. I'm not sure what to make of the tail count. If it was one big old wibbly tail, I'd think it was a squirrel, but it looks like it's a two-tailed creature. Oh, the statue also looks like that tail was broken off. Uh, sometimes foxes are depicted with more tails. What was that? What was that? Let's see. I'm not really sure why, but if I hit shift, I teleport forward a tiny bit. Like, almost unnoticeably. Like, right now. And now. And now. It's weird. It's, like, not animated, but it's not... I don't think it's quite a sprint. Enter the Hall of Memory. Where sleep... Where sleeps the light of Kara. It never went out while she was alive. Ask... And maybe it will shine forth to answer you. Okay, yeah. The <laughs> I was stabbing in the dark when I mentioned Journey, but between the tablets and the cool aesthetic colors and then seeing those floating white symbols immediately, I'm like, okay, maybe more Journey than I thought, actually. Oh, this is pretty. Okay, we're leaving now. Bye bye. <laughs> I don't like this. Uh, was it falling out behind me? Okay, I think it might be. Oh, good. Oh, good. Uh. Oh, good. I guess we gotta jump. Creepy, weird specters with with like symbols in their faces. Let's not go in the water. That looks really dangerous. Oh boy. Oh boy. I hope these lanterns will burn long enough to guide the young pilgrim. Like everyone has a symbol on their face, and they like are shown as like an X-ray thing. Oh, is this gonna collapse right when I go across it? No, no, not yet. We're all right. Slightly awkward transition in that my character stopped moving instead of like automatically running off into the into the abyss, into the void of the white. Oh, wow. Just in time, huh? Don't think we can read these. Alk, hmm. you made it out okay? I think the gods are all right. What happened in there? I thought the worst when the cave, when the cave collapsed. Is that the lantern? Hmm, strange. That lantern is an ancient artifact called Kara's Light. Somehow it shines for you. It's the first time in generations. Keep it safe for now. I'll stay here to investigate the shrine. Meanwhile, 
You should continue your pilgrimage. There's a village over by the lighthouse. Just follow the kites to get there. Talk to Dinah when you arrive. She will tell you where to go next. E to transform. Oh, I just had that the whole time, huh? Just gonna fu- Alright. Just gonna pop out with this reveal. Hey, you can turn into a bird, by the way. No biggie. Like, just so nonchalant about it. So left and click actually make me- Left and right click make me turn left and right, like rotating. Oh, shift resets the chase camera. Didn't do anything there. Hmm. Oh, this game has real particular flying controls. Oh, there, there's shift. Okay. So that's why I did the weird fidgety thing when I was, you know, just fly, just standing there as a human. Sounds like some banjo music. I'm following the kites. Did I go too far? It might be, it's probably here. This is probably the place. I'll just go right up here. This must be the lighthouse. It doesn't seem to do anything right now. I should come back here later. <laughs> Bit of a faster way to get around, but also really, really iffy in the moment sometimes. There we go. This is a pretty area. Look at the butterflies. And look at the humans. There's a water bender, and an earth bender, and a fire bender, and I'm the air bender. There we go. I solved the visual language. Are you alright, Auk? Oh, Auk is also a three letter word starting with A, like Aang. Ha! <laughs> it was Auk, right? We heard rumblings from Kara's shrine. I'm so glad you made it out. My name is Dana. Or Dina. Dana, yeah. And welcome. It was a long time ago we had a pilgrim here. Your, me your mentor, Medvin, was actually the last one before you. My parents helped him back then. Now I, John, and our daughter, Erin, will help you. If you ever feel, lo feel, uh, feel lost, just return here and talk to us. We're here to guide you, after all. Every pilgrim's journey requires a visit to the three temples in the land of gods. Kara sealed them long ago. Right after the Great Divide. There's a sigil in the ground close to each temple. That's where we gather to pay our respects to the spirits. And so you too should go there. Sacred words are revealed to those who approach them with an open mind. The Eventide Sanctuary is closest, and you will find it northwest of here. Northwest. Auk, Auk. That's your name, right, right? What happened? Did you see any ghosts or spirit animals? Treasures? Secrets? I want to explore, too. It's so unfair that I have to, I'm stuck at this island. Sometimes I go on adventures with my parents, but still adventures. We once went to a super awesome place. It's up north. It's kind of snowy. With this huge statue. It's kind of broken, but still cool. My name is Aaron, so you know. <laughs> he just scoffed and turned around when I looked when I went towards him. Hey. Hello, Auk. And welcome. What was that noise we heard? What? You made it out okay? I'm John, by the way. Dana and I will take care of the lighthouses here on the island. We try to make sure that nothing weird happens in the lands of gods. Not an easy job considering all the strange old ruins and wonders here. I haven't had much time to visit them since Aaron was born, but I don't mind. I think she longs for adventure, which makes her father proud. If you have time, I'd recommend you go to the Wing Windsong Falls. When the w world was whole, a water spirit combined her hair at the stream there. Combed her hair at the stream there. Beautiful hair at that. The wind sang to make her hair flow down until it mixed with the clouds. Thus the rainbow was born. Not that I've ever seen one my, here, there myself, but it's a nice story. 
Anyway, you can find that place just north of here. Continue beyond the clouds. Alright. Everyone's just saying go north. Oops. There we go. That was almost a... I almost biffed it pretty hard. Yeah. We just have... I think we just have full reign of the place right off the bat. I think it's a bit more open. So the mouse just has... Yeah, the mouse just pans freely. I can just look around. Where WASD and left and right click all control how my character actually moves. This is a nice sight. And those ruins are probably important. Whoop. Ooh. Weird lines. Maybe currents. Getting the feel of the uh, controls here. Oh, oh god. I'm trying to land on it. Which is... I'm going a little fast. Uh, dive bomb it. Nope. Nope. There we go. Haha! -ha. Pretty accurate. I am Rhea, Yor's daughter. I sought out his words to make sense of what happened to him during his journeys. My father's burden lay heavy on his shoulders. Even though we found a new home, he was never the same again. There is hope, and more children have been born this spring than last. We will recover, but I think he worried about things yet to come. I think the sickness of black rocks my father found scared him more than anything else. It's only been seen once or twice again, however. These islands we now wander are safe. Kara is soon having a child of her own, and laughter has returned to our hearts. Oh, there's stairs down here. Oh, they don't, they don't go anywhere now. I think it's like an open world, roam around, do what you want kind of game for a bit. Whoa. What was that? Trying to do it again. I think it like double jumped and it like launched me or something. I'm not totally sure. That's interesting. When I'm near those runes, I hear a musical tone. Maybe I get an instrument or something, or some kind of item I can use to interact with them. Right now, I think they're just kind of there. It's a beautiful game. That almost looks like a scorpion stinger out there or something, that rock. Hey, let's go over to that place. Oh yeah, there's a few temples that stand out around here. Hmm. Is that a... Oh, it's a bird. I think. Or, no, it's a fish, I think. Yeah. I have a sneaking suspicion that I may have not actually met with who I was supposed to meet in the town. When I met with those people and they're like, we are our, we are your guides. I figured, oh, okay, I met the, I met the right people. But now I kind of feel like I was supposed to meet with somebody else and they were supposed to give me something that lets me interact with stuff. I might just be I might just be roaming around right now without the item I need. This is the same statue. That has a sun on it. What what did the other one have? A moon? Yep, there's a moon there and a sun there.
Oh well. It's late enough in the episode that it's not that much need to go back. If I can't do anything to interact, that's fine. Let's just explore for a bit. We discovered King's Pass. Ooh. Neat map. Uh, not necessarily labeled. Oh, there's a lighthouse there, and there's the temple there. Oh, there's the, that's the collapsed statue? Oh, yeah. We can make sense of that. Oh, yeah. Some sort of destroyed king statue thing? Up close, it's hard to even make out what it looks like. Haven't we, like, kind of revealed that these things are people, more or less? Let's see. Settings. Uh, I was gonna see if there's a control list of, like, if there's a button I just don't realize I can press or something. Oh yeah, I bet- I bet these are all people, and if you go up to each one, you can find out what they're saying. If you just, like, have something, maybe? Oh! Crap, the lantern. I'm an idiot. It's time to face facts. The God King is here to stay. It's better to bend a knee than to lose a head. I forgot about the lantern. I'm so sorry, everyone. Uh, a little startling. I am Yulhal of the Southern Isles. This is the second letter I leave behind. This message is a warning of bad tidings, the worst ever since the Great Divide. I came to the land of the gods to seek counsel for my spirit animal. Our lands continue to break apart as if an invisible tide gnawed at them. Since last spring, things have gotten worse. The snow creeps south and animals are found dead. Corrupted with the dark rocks I first saw so long ago. I went to the, the spirit fox's den, but it was empty. I waited there for three days, but he was nowhere to be seen. Are the spirits dying, as we are? If so, then all is lost. If he doesn't show up tomorrow, I will return to my people. I, for one, will not abandon them in their last days. I bet this lantern also activates those shrines. Whoops. Yep. I wonder if I can just keep going or if this snow gets bad for me. Is that a- that's a skeleton down there, isn't it? Yep. Just book it way the heck out here. Off to Iceland. The Howling Peaks. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Sure, fine. Quite a visual change. Oh god, no! I'm gonna die. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Oh god. I kept hitting I kept hitting things on the way down. Ah, oh, that was really good. That was alarming. That wasn't a good feeling at all. I'll uh, get back on land. There we go. You didn't see that. That was embarrassing. No one no one saw that. Ignore the heart attack I had. Who keeps these lights? I wonder if anyone has taken shelter in this cave. Oh. Bells. Oh, it actually let me in. At first, when I look, graphically, I thought that was just an indent. Like, I assumed it was a cave based on the op on the lights and everything, but then once I went into it, it looked like it wasn't going to go anywhere. So I was I was double surprised when it then did, did, did that.
This is familiar, but a bit different. Look at that color scheme on the screen. <laughs> Look at that. Those colors. Notes on Legends of the Western Clans by Rhett, the scholar of the Summer Islands. Everything in the lands of gods is sacred. Especially there is a shrine called the Lighthouse, which is rumored to be a place of power. Some ancient texts refer to it as the House of the First Light, the Cradle of the World, where the ancient gods first woke up and walked the lands. Now it just looms as a small black tower made of alien obsidian, lonely and abandoned, a relic in the eyes of our civilization. It is a mistake. Is it a mistake that we don't care for what was left to us by our ancestors? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Nope, you cannot become a bird indoors. <laughs> Overpowered, I guess. You can jump pretty dang high, though. Oh, can I clear that jump? Oh no, invisible walls. Oh! Look at him go. All right. No, no, this is a... So when you're indoors, it's very much take the intended path and see what tablets it leads to you to along the way and stuff like that. All righty, all righty. Funny, because outdoors, it's so non-linear and so free-flowing. But they might try to tell you a story with the uh, tablets in a specific order and stuff like that. Definitely seems to be like a chill exploration based game. There might not be any kind of combat elements at all, or there might not, there might not even be puzzles or anything. Oh, look at that! Look at that big thing. What's your deal? Looks like a polar bear in armor. Yep. My lady, welcome. It is an honor to receive you here. You may not know me, but I know who you are. Come, listen to my story. Okay, so we're just accepting that you talk to bears in this universe. Cool. I guess you're a bird. Maybe he's also a person. <laughs> ah, I still remember the time when Kara was just a cub. It was her first visit to the Land of Gods. Her clan was traveling through. I myself was still young, just over a hundred years, and <laughs> yeah, and as chance would have it, they stopped for a rest near my home at the time. I was walking by, and she went up to me. She was still without words. She hugged me, and her heart talked to me. Years later, she came back. She remembered me. One of her first memories, she said. I offered her a pact but she had already entered one with the bird of the Thunder Isles. We became good friends, however, and I was the first to meet her after the Great Divide. The Creator has split himself to lock away a void growing in his heart. The world crumbled. I had given Kara the task of keeping the pieces of his being safe. Three fragments of great power, the void, locked in its prison, and one last piece, his hopes, his dreams, and his love for the world and its beauty. Kara came to me much later again, when the world was calm once more, to present the last piece to me. The cub was as small as Kara was when, he first, when we met the first time, and her name was Mina. I'm guessing that my name is Mina. Ah, time flows so fast, my lady. I thank you for coming here. It was a great pleasure to relive the past for a while. But the world is growing weary, and is missing something it once had. I hope for a great ending of this tale, and it seems it's not entirely over just yet. Nope, that's the end of that. So, so is my name Mina? They said my name is Auk, but I mean, I don't even... Does my character even speak? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe my name is Mina and Auk. Hmm, plot twist. Well, that's neat. This game's neat. I think that's going to be about it for today, though, guys. So if you want to check out this game, check out the link in the description to the Steam page from 
air and memories of old. Or, you know, do your own research if you want to find it on another platform, if it is on another platform. I just kind of default to Steam out of simplicity's sake, which might be a symptom of all that's wrong in the world, I don't know. Uh, thanks to the developers for sending me a code for this game. I think they did, I don't really remember anymore. And uh, <laughs> thanks for watching like always, thanks to Nox for requesting this particular game. And I'll see you guys next time.